In this lesson, we'll conclude our review of Passport to Advanced Math Concepts. We're in the official PSAT practice test, section four, calculator permitted, the final two problems in the grid-in section. And questions 30 and 31 refer to the following information. This is a paired set. An arrow is launched upward with initial speed of 100 meters per second. The equations above describe the constant acceleration motion of the arrow where V sub zero is the initial speed of the arrow. V is the speed of the arrow as it is moving up in the air. H is the height of the arrow above the ground. T is the time elapsed since the arrow was projected upward and G is acceleration due to gravity. So let's take a look at the first question. What is the maximum height from the ground, the air will rise to the nearest meter. And so we're solving for height, and we're given that that's h, and you have to decide which equation to use. So here's an h, and here's an h. The key to this problem, both of these questions, these are literally what I call physics type questions, where you have to glean some information to help you solve it. So let's start with this equation here, and I'll just copy it down below. So we have V squared, and we're told that V is the speed of the arrow as it's moving up in the air, and we're trying to solve for the maximum height. And so recognizing, think about the arrow, right? It's going upward, upward, it reaches the maximum height, this apex, and then turns back down. What is that speed at the apex? It's zero. So that is zero. And now we can just plug in the other variables. So we have V sub zero squared. V sub zero is the initial speed of the arrow. We're given that's 100. So that's just gonna be 100 squared. And then we have minus two times GH. So minus two, G is the acceleration due to gravity. So that's 9.8 times eight. And so we just have a single variable H and now we can solve this problem so here, this is 100 squared is 10,000. And then we have minus, so 9.8 times two, that is gonna be 19.6 H equals zero. And so we're gonna bring this to the left side. So we get 19.6 H equals 10,000. Obviously it's the calculator permitted section. And so we have 10,000 divided by 19, 0.6 and we get H looks like 510.2 and the question is asking to the nearest meter so we round down and the answer is 510. Alright one more question relating to this set of information. How long will it take the arrow to reach its maximum height to the nearest tenth of a second? Alright so now how long we're dealing with speed. Right? So think about what we did in the previous problem. So for speed, let's start with this one, because remember we're trying to solve for t. This one looks like a lot more manageable too than this one with the t squared. So let's start with this one. How long to reach its maximum height? So just like in the previous problem, what do we know about v? What is the speed when it reaches its maximum height? We already solved that. And so I'm using this top equation. So we know that's just simply v is gonna be zero. And then V sub zero, we know that V sub zero is 100 minus G, which is acceleration. And that's gonna be 9.8, we already had that. And then just times T. So this is pretty much like the last question. We just have to solve this for T. I'm just gonna add 9.8 T to both sides. So 9.8 T equals 100. We want the nearest 10th of a second. So it's gonna be 100 divided by 9.8 and that comes out to looks like 10.204 and so the answer the nearest tenth is 10.2